Today we are going to be doing this kind of thing in Cavalry. Bear with me because it is going to be really, really, really easy. By Hulk 79. So, before the step-by-step -step tutorial, I start by looking into what's going on here. We have two ellipses that are inside this duplicator. Uh, so here you have both of them then on the distribution you have many options but we are working here with the shape edges and obviously we are using the text to generate the repetitions within the duplicator then the text has a voxelize that works and these are the parameters for the voxelizer so I'm using this black letter typeface, Chomsky, you can find it in the font. Starting with a circle, we need to create a circle and I'm going to make it white. And we're going to scale it down but in the radius, linking the two parameters. So scaling it down. And I'm going to put it inside a duplicator. And Yes, for tidying my timeline is going to be inside. So now I'm going to duplicate Control Command D, this ellipse, and this second one is going to be black. Is like this. So if we go to the radius, I'm going to scale it down a little bit. So in the duplicator, we already have this ellipse here but the new one that we just created we need to drop it there so that means we have two shapes inside the duplicator now and this is very important we need to change the distribution in the duplicator to shape edges and in the distribution shape we drop our text so as you see here, it doesn't look too good <laughs> at the moment, but we are going to fix it. So let's go, for example, here into the fill all and we are going to deactivate that because we are going to change the count to have a little bit more of control and then we're going to animate from there. And in the text itself, we need in the deformers, we need to add a deformer, the voxelized. So that looks way better. Double click in the voxelize and we are going to be playing with the size of these voxels. Uh, that's going to drive like how many clones the duplicator is, is putting on top of the text. Now we are going to go into the duplicator and we are going to increase the count of these repetitions so that it covers the whole text. So you can see that this is how we are going to create the animation right here so in my case it's going to be a high number something close to 1500 let's clean this a little bit and change the name of these two layers uh, i always encourage you to have a tidy timeline so just click enter and change the names of whatever and yeah i'm going to keep like adjusting things like the radius here uh, in the two circles or spheres that are uh, creating this pattern and then you can tweak different things like the voxelized size so that you know what we are going after here is like having a nice look uh visual style and also that this is kind of readable which is kind of difficult uh, what's what is super cool about cavalry is like we can even like change the parameters of the font and it still uh, doesn't blink so yeah it's a matter of a matter of like going through the different effects that are stacked together in a way and trying to get the best out of them i think i'm going to start animating this so the way we are going to animate is like with the count is going to go from let's say one into a number a number that covers the whole text 
So that's our animation right there. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create another keyframe there and I'm going to separate it in the timeline so that that last, last part of the animation is kind of super slow, super satisfying to watch. And I'm doing the same sort of thing in the beginning. Here I'm creating another keyframe and I'm going to zoom in the timeline and separate these two keyframes so that the beginning is also super slow. Let's tweak this a little bit more. Maybe instead of 5 it's going to be 12. Like yeah, that feels cool. So feel free to create the keyframes that you need to have the desired effect. So I think I'm going to change the font because this is not still still not readable. So let's see what I have here. Yeah, okay. Cooper. Uh I would need to change the the number of repetitions here in the duplicator because the shape changed so I'm going to keep tweaking things like the font size and yeah I think that was that please remember that I have this buy me a coffee web page where you can contribute I would appreciate it a lot thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one Kinetic Kinetic series. Series by Hulk 79